What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's time to talk about Solana a little bit and I've come across some things today that I want to talk about and admittedly here I don't have all the answers but there are some interesting things happening with Solana here in recent days and even the past week or so and it has to do with the crazy price surge that we saw with Solana. Now, first and foremost, before we get into this and talk about how FTX still has an impact on Sol and maybe even happening right now, I do still think Solana has a pretty good long-term future with the information I have right now, right? So putting all the FTX stuff aside, I do think Solana will eventually kind of come into their own when the whole FTX stuff is not in the picture at all. But I recently came across some things, and if you look across crypto right now, interestingly enough, a lot of altcoins are up today. Solana's down 8% and selling off a little bit. Now, it could just be because Solana went up so much that a healthy pullback is kind of necessary, right? However, there are some interesting things happening, okay? Some definite interesting things happening. Definitely some interesting things happening right now. So Solana has surged recently to a 14 month high. We saw it yesterday hit in the mid forties. It's coming back right now about 40 bucks. I think it got all the way up to like 46 or 47 bucks. But now an article from Coindesk and many other articles out there are talking about how some sell pressure here in the short term is lingering as FTX has unstaked $67 million worth of tokens. And a large chunk of this is Solana. We know how tied Solana was with FTX. And at first we thought, well, wait a minute, is it something wrong with Solana? And so far, nothing's really come of that. It's just the one that Sam Bankman Freed picked to manipulate drastically. Now, FTX-related wallets have unstaked and transferred millions of tokens to exchanges just in the last 24 hours, which could exert some selling pressure for the asset. Polygon is also on the list, although it's a much smaller number. And I'm putting out this video so we're alerted on it. And if you're way up on a trade in Solana, maybe you consider looking at some of this news and having that impact your immediate decisions in the short term. Again, I still think Solana long-term looks pretty solid. Now, it set its 14-month high, and it's the seventh largest crypto, right? And it's still looking really, really strong. It hasn't been up here since August of 2022, but it's up 350% this year. It went as low as eight bucks, and we know Sam Bankman-Fried and the crypto exchange uh, that he had, FTX, and Alameda, they were big investors in the entire Solana ecosystem, probably probably because they felt as if they could manipulate it. And they were probably early investors, because if you remember, Solana had a lot of BC money in it. And that may be something that just deters people from investing in Solana in the first place. A lot of people just don't like super centralized cryptos, and that's okay. I kind of fall somewhere in between like I'm not a decentralization snob from an investor standpoint because I want opportunity. I want a chance to make a profit. Whether it's you know 30% centralized or 20 you know it's not a huge concern for me, but for some people it is, right? But there's definitely some things happening all at once. Like you've got the Solana conference going on. We usually see a pump happen here. We've got a resurgence in the overall cryptocurrency market, but now we also have FTX trying to sell their Solana. And if you were trying to offload a bunch of crypto, wouldn't you want a price pump before you sold out on some things to make a little extra comfy cushion and some more gains? So it's fascinating. I don't know exactly if we know or anybody knows exactly what's going on, right? But 21 shares asset manager noted in a report that FTX and Alameda bankruptcy estate recently moved $35 million worth of SOL tokens. So 35 million strictly SOL tokens to exchanges, possibly with the intention to, uh, to sell. 
Blockchain data shows that FTX-related wallets Wednesday afternoon, yesterday, unstaked another 1.6 million of tokens, worth some 67 million, suggesting that more tokens can be on the move. Compound and Polygon were on there, and a few others. But again, nothing as big as Solana. So I wanted to make this video because there's a lot flying around here as Solana's flying up the charts, but now pulling back in a weird way as the overall market's still strong. There's probably some fishy stuff going on here, but it's probably coming back to Sam Bankman-Fried and FTX. And I don't think it's something Solana specific. Of course, if we get more information on that front, I'll happily bring that to you. But I wanted to make you guys aware of this right now, especially if you're looking for trading opportunities. There might be a little bit more selling pressure here on Solana as they're unstaking tokens. Then maybe you look at an entry point if you're either going short-term or long-term here on Solana. So wanted to make this video. Hopefully it helps everybody. If it did, drop your thoughts, your comments down below on all of this. I want to, I'm really curious to hear what you guys think. And also don't forget to like the video so more people see this, push it up in the old algorithm, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I got to go in and get a workout. Peace out guys. See you in the next video. Take care.